This is a Texas Instruments Inspire personal calculator. This is the first version of this great line of calculators, but it has a problem. It is locking up on the uh, loading operating system page. And that's where it stops. It goes no further. At this point, none of the keys respond. You can't even, you can't even turn it off. The uh, reset button doesn't work. It, it's just frozen right here. Now, Texas Instruments provides us with some instructions on how to fix this. Now, in order, we have basically have to turn it off now and to restart. And at this point, the only way to do it is to, is to pull out the batteries. Okay, now I've pulled the battery and therefore shut the machine off. We're going to turn it on again now. If the Inspire calculator locks up while it's loading the operating system, the operating system may be corrupted and it has to be deleted and reinstalled. Now, in order to do that, we have to get the calculator into maintenance mode. And we do that by pressing the double E key, the uh, enter key, and the dock key, all holding them down, all three keys, and then press the on key. And it takes us into this maintenance mode, and it gives us a selection, it gives us four choices. Now, choice number one is just to cancel. Number three, delete the document folder. That doesn't do much for us. Number two, delete the entire operating system. Number four, complete format. Now, in the case of this calculator, I already tried number two, and it didn't quite work. So this time we're going to go for four, which is the nuclear option. We're going to completely format, including the operating system. So we're going to press four. It asks us if we want to be sure. Press one to proceed. Okay, it looks like we've been successful. Press any key to restart. Okay, it brings us up to the operating system again, and now it says operating system not found. We need to reinstall the operating system. In order to reload the operating system, we're going to need a cable to connect a personal computer to the Inspire. This is a USB cable, standard USB connector for the computer, and then a USB type B for the Inspire. And that plugs in at the very top. And you will need Texas Instruments Inspire Computer Link software, which is now running on the monitor of my personal computer. And you will need the uh, operating system file. The computer link software and the operating system file are both available on the Texas Instruments website. We need to select a device. And that's going to be the Inspire calculator. Select. Now we want to install an operating system. OK, I've gone ahead and navigated to the uh, directory where that uh, file is located. And I'm just going to go ahead and install the OS. Now you can see this is the file name. It ends with TNO. The, uh, the suffix is TNO. And this is version 3.9.0.463. That's the latest as of this video. OK, go ahead and install. This does like a minute or two. All righty. Now that the software has downloaded from the computer into the Inspire, you can see that the status bar starts moving left to right as it's installing it, and now it has been installed. Now it's loading the operating system. And now it's rebooting.
Now it's going to ask us a few questions like what language are we going to be using? We use the tab key to go through the choices. I think English would be a good choice. And our font size, I think medium would be a good choice. And one last OK. And there we go. We're up and running. Now, just to confirm that we've got the right version of the software, I'm going to go ahead and check. We go down to settings. And then status. And it tells us we have version. 3.9.0.463. Very good. That's what we want. Now, these instructions were for the Inspire using the touchpad, double E, enter, dot, those three keys, and then the on key. Now, if you have the alternative keyboard, this thing, so called click pad, then it's the home key, the enter key, and the letter P. You hold those three down and then press the on key. Otherwise, everything is the same. That's how you get out of that situation. I acquired this calculator really for nothing, and uh, it was frozen like that. I was able to get it back, just as you saw. Good. So uh, if you're locking up on the, the loading operating system, first thing I would try actually is the, uh, the reset button. Try that first. That might might do it. But if you have to go through the wiping operating system, I would try option two first. And if option two doesn't work as it, as in this case, it did not, then go all the way to option four, which is basically the nuclear option. You're, you basically wipe everything and start over. Okay, that's it.